This is the MyBook Live, and it is a member of Western Digital's Live series of products. So Live, as far as I can tell, has to do with networking. So this is a home network drive that is a NAS, and this particular one is a one terabyte drive. So that means up to 120 HD videos, and there's some kind of asterisk there, uh, 250,000 MP3s or 200,000 photos. Gigabit Ethernet connects to your home network, and this is the cool thing about this guy. Look at that. Up to 100 megabytes per second performance. Now, there's all kinds of mainstream NASes available on the market these days, but the reality of it is, in my experience testing them, they can be gigabit or 1000 or 10 gigabit, I don't care what connectivity they have on the back. The processor inside the NAS enclosure just isn't fast enough to deliver the kind of thorough put that the hard drive inside is capable of. So what Western Digital's done with this product is they've taken the bottleneck out of the processor inside the box and they're giving you almost the full performance of that drive over your network. So that means that when you're pulling files off of this drive, we don't need to see this because we're going to open the box, when you're pulling, pulling files off of this drive, it's going to perform almost the same as an internal drive in your system. Pretty cool, huh? So you can centralize all of your storage. That goes for pretty much any NAS. It comes with Western Digital software to back up your computers, including uh, Apple Time Machine compatibility. You can access your files anywhere, including viewing stored photos with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And you can also stream media throughout your home, including to the WDTV Live. And I'll actually be doing a video shortly about that particular topic on my NCIX Tech Tips channel. It's compatible with pretty much everything under the sun, XP Vista, Windows 7, OS Leopard, and Snow Leopard. It has some contents inside, and this is cool. I, you know what? I know everyone but me has probably seen this already, but I just got a smartphone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, check this out. So hold on. Give me a minute. There, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and look at that. There we go. It turns green, and then it pulls up a web page. And I can read all about the MyBook Live. So cool. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a neat feature that the box comes with the uh, QR code on it. Like I said, I just got a smartphone. Go easy on me, you know. I'm behind in the times. So let's see all the stuff that comes with this little guy. We've got the drive. We've got the cable. We've got the box. Don't look at the box. Who cares about the box? All right. Then we got, uh, you know what, here, let's look at the accessories first. We got a pretty, pretty cool looking gigabit ethernet cable with like shiny rims on the side. It's, uh, yeah, it looks like a nice high quality cable. Then we have a power adapter. So this particular power adapter is 0.5 amps max at 12 volts. So you can go ahead and assume this guy's not going to pull a whole lot of power from your wall. Here's the software CD, which is going to walk you through all the configuration steps. Has the WD Smartware for Windows, free remote access service, setup wizard. Don't throw this away unless you download the latest off the WD site, which I'm not sure if they have. And I believe that CD even prompts you to download the latest ones, although I could be wrong about that. Here's your quick start guide, which is fairly straightforward. Plug in, put in CD, follow the steps. Yeah, that easy. All right, next we have technical support and limited warranty guide. It's all black and white text, very boring. Not going to look too closely at that. And then finally, we have the MyBook Live itself. So inside is a one terabyte hard drive and outside is a pretty slick looking little enclosure. So we have an activity LED right here. Very, very small, but that ensures that it's not going to be intrusive. We have a nice little shiny WD logo right there on the bottom. We have some non-slippy rubber feet. And we also have, if I can get the right angle and get you guys to be able to see, we have ventilation holes. So you can actually see right through there. This whole unit is simply cooled by convection. So it means that the warm hard drive inside, and that is warm, it doesn't get hot because of all the airflow going through it, the warm hard drive inside heats up the air around it, which causes the warm air naturally to rise out the top where we also have ventilation holes. And then it's going to pull in new fresh air from the bottom where you can see we've actually got a gap under the drive when the rubber feet are on the table. So that's where the airflow is going to come from. Very simple, but very, very effective. On the back, we have a Kensington lock just in case you have this on display in a store, for example, and you don't want somebody to steal it. We have DC power in as well as our gigabit ethernet connectivity. You've got a hard reset switch here as well as a label of my book live. 
Now if I can figure this out, I'd love to be able to show you guys how to, uh, I think there's a way to actually open it. Oh, I can't remember how. Anyway, that was my unboxing and first look at the WD MyBook Live. I have already actually done some testing on this drive and it is fast. That's why I was so excited about this. I had more than one, so I unboxed one on my own before I unboxed one with all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and thank you for watching.